Yo, 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 here we go. Are you tired of the same old Facebook group invites flooding your notifications? I mean, the Cat Lovers Unite group or the Bitcoin Billionaires. How about the do-it-yourself tiny home makeovers? Listen, I know I was tired of those. But through the noise and clutter of over 620 million Facebook groups, I had a vision. I had a vision of a group that was so much more than just an additional Facebook feed, but an actual real life community of human beings from around the world of all ages, all races, all backgrounds, all beliefs coming together with purpose. I had a vision of a community that would not only exist online, but offline with live events, casual meetups, and charitable outreach. I had a vision of a community that would not only motivate, but actually educate people in business, relationships, and personal development. A community that would inspire both young and old all around the world to be the absolute best versions of themselves that they could possibly be. Wouldn't that be incredible? A community of people that you could turn to when you're lonely? A community of people that you could count on when you're down or share your wins when you're up? A community that you could count on 24 hours a day and especially first thing in the morning when you're preparing to attack your day? Well, I have good news. We created it. Hashtag Rise and Grind is the first ever Facebook group to not just fill your feeds, but to actually become a massive part of your life with daily live morning shows and experts in every area of life. We have live large scale events, small meetups and massive community outreach from rescuing homeless people off the streets to supporting our friends battling cancer to most recently raising over a hundred thousand dollars to help battle the human sex trafficking industry that is an epidemic in our country. The hashtag rise and grind group is here and it is evolving as it gets bigger and better every single day. And we want you to join us. You see, the best part about a Facebook group and the technology that comes along with it is that there's always room for one more. And though we're 30,000 members strong, I assure you, we will make you feel like you're the only one. Because that's what hashtag Rise and Grind is all about. We rise, evolve, and impact together. Click the link below, join the group. We'd love to have you. Hopefully, I'll see you soon. Good morning and welcome to Hashtag Rise and Grind. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to seven, and the creator of what is going to be the number one most watched morning show in the world. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? Dude, today is Thursday. That's right. Today is Thursday, October 1st, 2020. <laughs> the fourth quarter has arrived. Can you believe it? The fourth quarter of 2020. What a game this has been, right? First quarter, we came out running and gunning. Second and third quarter was like, pat, pat. It was like, dang, what's happening? We don't even know. Dipping and dodging and diving. And here we are in the fourth quarter. We got, we're on the comeback trail. That's right. We're winning. We're going to push through. We're going to dominate. We're going to crush it. And here we are in October. I can't believe it. Hey, do me a favor. I can always tell. I can always tell when some people are having a hard time finding our show for whatever reasons that may be, the powers that may be. So do me a favor. If you know there's somebody who's supposed to be in here this morning, go ahead and tag them right now. Help them find the show uh, because we're not getting a whole lot of help from our sponsors. 
at this case, the people that uh, give us this incredible platform that we love so much. I do see my sister in here, though, all the way from Arizona. So I hope she's either decided in October she's going to rise super early and crush it, or she was just partying all night and had a really good night. I don't know which, but uh, Tina, great to see you this morning. Welcome to Hashtag Rise and Grind, your number one most watched source for all things motivation, education, and inspiration. Today on our show, we're going to recap some amazing moments from September as we just wrapped up our hashtag Rise and Grind September spotlights, where each day we spotlighted different members of the group, which is incredible. And here's the thing, man, there's 30,000 members in the group. We could only spotlight like like 30 of them. So I apologize if we couldn't give you a direct spotlight, but please know that we were thinking about you. We care about you. We have, you're so valued um, in this group, but we did some spotlights. There were even some that we made that we didn't actually get to post uh, because there's only so many days in the month. Like my friend, Jema Newhoff, we want to spotlight her. She's an amazing superhuman. Terry LaPierre, also, my man Terry, I think he's watching Hashtag Rise and Grind right now this morning. Lauren Paquette was another one that we wanted to get to. We weren't able to in September, but we love you, Lauren, so very much. So we had our September spotlights, right? We got to do those, which was awesome. We also got to do a bunch of amazing interviews, which my friend Heather Parody assisted in that uh, big time there in September. So we did a lot of different amazing interviews with amazing superhumans from all over the planet. It was really, really cool. And we wrapped it up with Carrie Lynn Carter yesterday. And I just had an absolute blast with these two ladies yesterday morning. I hope you did as well. So we had the spotlights every day. We had the interviews every day, which was awesome. We also had giveaways every day. Shirts, hats, water bottles, planners, all that stuff. And then yesterday, for our last giveaway of the month, yesterday, uh, our, my team asked you if you would invite more people to the group, right? And yesterday, it blew up. There were invites for days. You guys were all inviting. Everybody was, was sending their friends, which we love and we appreciate. Bring your people to the group. And so we did say yesterday that if you would invite your people and if you were yeah, I had texted into our text line and had entered into the giveaways, all of those things that we were going to give away a really big uh, package today, like a whole thing with a bunch of Rise and Grind gear, so on and so forth. And I got really excited because our team uses this like random generator thing online to randomly generate winners. And every once in a while, it randomly generates a winner who I was actually hoping would win. I really was because this person is so amazing. So congratulations to Emily Galler. That's right. Emily Galler is our winner. She won the whole shebang, the whole package, the whole thing. She's got it all coming her way as if she doesn't have enough Rise and Grind stuff already, right? But Emily, you are our winner. So Emily, you're going to get like the t-shirt, right? You got the hashtag Rise and Grind tie-dye t-shirt over here. And you're going to get the one where it's got the little Rise and Grind like on your rear end right there on that little on that little jacket, right? It's like a little pullover jacket. It's got the little thing on the back. So you're going to get to get that. You're going to get a hat. You give that to your husband over there. You're going to get a water bottle over we're going to send you one of those so you can have a brand new hashtag rise of grind water bottle super excited you're also going to get like another planner i already know you got one but maybe you got a friend or a family member we're going to send all those things out to you and probably some other goodies too right there's probably going to be like i don't know you're you're I, i'm a fan of emily galler so but there'll probably be a few other items in there but thank you guys all so much it's just been an incredible month it's been very humbling uh an incredible reminder uh, of how far we've come as a group, uh, the things that we continue to to grow out and do, which has been incredible. Uh, and you, you just all mean so, so yeah. Facebook not playing nice this morning, said Krista Bug. Yeah, I know, I know. But you guys all just mean so much to us. And this group is really, really incredible. You know, hashtag rise and grind. Like, it's just, I don't know. 
I don't even have words for it sometimes, right? Like, I want to thank you, for all of you who have participated over the last month, sharing, encouraging, commenting, pouring into all of our guests. Like, every guest that's been on the show has messaged me like, dude, this is crazy. The timing was so perfect. I really needed these words of encouragement, right? Like, every single guest this month, you invited tons of people, which I totally, totally appreciate it. Like, it's just incredible. You know, hashtag Rise and Grind, if you think about it, where it's like the only daily morning show with a private Facebook group attached to it with over 30,000 members that are all coming together to rise every single day with intention and purpose to evolve into the best versions of ourselves that we can possibly be so that we can go out and make an impact and we get to do it together. So super, super cool. It's been really, really amazing, and I just really, really appreciate all of you guys. One of the people that I also appreciate, besides my members, my friends, my family, is I really appreciate this girl, Heather Parody. You guys it know needs Heather? to be a countdown timer of when you're going to pop us on screen. No. Because we're always like over here like... <laughs> I like it that way. I like <laughs> I know you, you do. Completely like pow when you're when you're not ready for it. I think that's when it's best, don't you? You know what I thought would be cool, Glenn? If we just started saying when people said what is hashtag rise and grind, we just start saying it's the number one most watched morning show in the world. And we all just got in the habit of saying that because that's just inevitable that that's gonna be the case. And we just need to speak it into existence. How about you that? Know, I think you're 100% right. Uh, in the intro there, it says what is going to be the number one most watched morning show in the world. And we just need to go ahead and change that. I don't know if you noticed, Brandon added you. You're in the oh, did intro. He? Yeah. I was sitting here saying good morning to everybody, which is I such a that. job. I start sweating saying good morning to everybody because there's so many people. I'm like, good morning, good morning, good morning. Right. Well, you were you you've been added to the intro because oh, you that's so sweet. Have Thank been you. you've been such an integral part of the show uh, over you. the last few months. Um, your interviews, filling in for me at some times where I couldn't be here. For those of you that don't know, this is the T H E capital. This is the Heather Parody. She's a rock star and my 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 co-host here on Hashtag Rise and Grind. She's been doing a lot and will continue to do a lot for us going forward. So thank you, Heather. I noticed you're wearing pink. I stole my daughter's pink necklace and you can't see my pink headband. I was literally putting them to bed last night. I'm like, good night, children. And I was like going through their bags like, what do you have that's pink in here? <laughs> this was it. I couldn't believe it. Well, yes. you're wearing pink. I'm wearing pink. October yes. is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. That's right? what it was. I was wondering. I'm like, why are we wearing pink again? Yeah, that's what it is. Breast Cancer that's Awareness it. Month across the globe. And we're going to be doing some special things here with Hashtag Rise and Grind all month long. What are we super, doing? Super cool stuff. We're going to be doing all kinds of things to raise awareness. I mean, the way we do things in this group is motivation, education, inspiration, right? Those are and a lot of parties. And a lot of parties. Y'all partying all the time. That's right. Those are our three key words: motivation, education, inspiration. We do it all together. So this month we're going to, in rise and grind form, continue to raise awareness for breast cancer through okay. motivation, okay. education, and yeah. inspiration. And what we're also going to do is we're going to raise money for an organization called My Pink Navigator. Okay. There is a member in our group called Bobby Nihas. And Bobby Nihas. I called Bobby. Why did I say called Bobby? There is a member in our group named Bobby Nihas. <laughs> what up, Bobby? Called, she's not called Bobby Nihas. Her name is actually <laughs> Bobby Nihas. And she runs an amazing organization. This is a picture of Bobby right here. She runs an amazing organization where she helps people that are battling cancer be comfortable through the battle. Like, it's amazing what she does. I'm actually going to run a little video on it here in just a second. Wow. So oh, what we're going to cool. do this month is we are going to um, sell these t-shirts, which you can go get at glenlundy.com. Those um, look it's, good. Yeah, man. You know, it's $15 for a t-shirt, 15 bucks, and 100% of the proceeds are going to go to My Pink Navigator. Also, 
in your feed, those of you that are watching right now or watching on replay, in your feed, there's a little thing that says stars. You can donate stars. All stars donated in the month of October are all going to go to my pink navigator every star so if you want to drop some stars you want to drop a dollar five dollars ten dollars fifty dollars a hundred dollars whatever you want to do it's all going to my pink navigator a hundred percent of it this month plus a hundred percent of the proceeds thank you kim fair there's some stars right there plus a hundred percent of the proceeds from the t-shirts but let me share with you a little bit more about my pink navigator and what it's all about i actually met bobby back when i was still at dan cummins uh chevrolet and buick over in paris Kentucky and she's just an amazing human check it out the three women that you see up here really these are my best friends that I've lost in the past three years um, just this year my friend Alicia um, who was 37 and then Alicia and then Emily so, and this is just another reason for me to get involved. Sure. I am Bobby Niehaus. Um, I was diagnosed with breast cancer at 31. And through my journey, I got involved, you know, wanting to spread awareness and educate the community about how important it is to do self breast exams, getting your mammograms. And then I started becoming a volunteer with Susan G. Komen and getting involved. And then my dream was to start my own nonprofit. And this year I founded My Pink Navigator. So our mission is to eliminate barriers, provide organization in the lives of breast cancer patients through education and navigational support. I provide chemo bags, surgery bags, and beauty bags. I want to inspire and empower patients to feel strong and beautiful during their treatment and after treatment and give them that uh, survivorship support after their journey is finished. And this is basically all my stuff that I'm putting together for the chemo bags. Um, there's blankets, Gatorade for dehydration, um, adult coloring books, uh, journals, because you know, everybody likes to write and maybe wants to share their story and, and write about how they feel and what they're going through. Um, markers, pens, socks, um, hand sanitizer, hand lotion, lip balm, ginger candy, candies to help with uh, nausea because that's really good when you're going through chemo. You have a lot of nausea and then uh, Dental hygiene is really important during chemo. One of the most important things that I want to provide that a lot of women don't have access to is, you know, when you have a bilateral mastectomy, you, you come out of the hospital with these drains and they pin them to your clothes when you leave the hospital. So these are really nice because you, it's like a fanny pack, but it goes around your waist and inside they have clips to hold your drains so they're secure and you don't have to worry about them falling out and you can actually go out and you know out to eat with your family or and then this is for the shower so you don't have to have a difficult time taking a shower with those drains and then I'm gonna do a mastectomy pillows that are basically will fit under the arm for comfort that's kind of what's gonna be in all the bags Stay positive, and I think the more you know about your diagnosis, the better because knowledge is power and you understand, you know, what you're going through and just, you know, your family and friends support is very important through it all. So a lot of people, it's hard for people to let other people do things for them, but during that time I think it's really important to, you know, let people help. I didn't know anyone diagnosed with breast cancer, so, you know, automatically I'm Googling and researching, which they tell you not to, but, but uh, that's how I found a lot of resources. 
such as, you know, I started looking for support groups and that's why it made me get involved to start a young women's support group. Um, the ones that were available, the women are all older. There was no group for like under 40. You know, we have different, you know, things that we're going through. Um, so that's what made me want to start those support groups. My vision in five years, I would love to be able to, you know, reach the entire state of Kentucky, you know, every county. But I would love to be nationwide. Like that is my dream to become, you know, a lot. So that's what we're going to do, Heather. She is amazing. Bobby, you will be nationwide. Wow. She is amazing. Isn't wow. She? And you know she that was uh when she started her organization i guess three years ago now she's been building on it she's serving people and i just think this is an incredible opportunity for us as a group mm -hmm. to really get behind another group member right yes Who's really doing something powerful and be able to push her out and i know that we can do it because what's really incredible about hashtag rise and grind is we really do go offline man like this That's is not just a hanging out online type of group. Um, the stars already, I think Eddie Brown just dropped 20,000 stars, which 20,000 stars. If I'm doing the math right, I think that's $200. It's amazing. That Eddie just dropped. Um, I've seen a bunch of members dropping stars. I, I, I mean, I don't know what it all adds up to right now, but just, just like that in five minutes, you know, I was talking to her about it. It's like... It's like 75 bucks a patient, a hundred bucks a patient wow. for like the gift bags and all the stuff. It's not a ton of money per patient, right? So what Eddie just did right there automatically already helps. Like that's two or three people right there mm -hmm. that are going to have a more comfortable experience going through uh, breast cancer just because of what Eddie did and all the other donations. I saw Liza um, donated some money, Kim Fair, so on and so forth. So I think we just really get behind her this month. Let's do Pro it. Pusher, promoter. Let's do it. Everybody go get a shirt, right? Go get a yep. shirt at glennlundy.com. Um, that way we can, you know, someone's going to see you wearing their shirt. They're going to see you That's wearing it. it and they're going to be like, okay, we know the breast cancer awareness part. What's that rise and grind part? And then you can talk to them and then you can tell them about uh, My Pink Navigator. Look, we got these that are getting made. Mypinknavigator.org. I should probably do that big like that. Right. You can go to that website or you can follow her on Instagram, Facebook if you want to learn more. Uh, but she's amazing. She is a Rising Grind member and I really want us to support her. And I hope you'll join Heather and I and the rest of our team as we raise awareness for her and, and, and help so people exciting. battle. Help people be comfortable as they battle this thing called It's a beautiful Rising. mission. Beautiful mission. Yes. So it's already five fifty one. We haven't danced. We haven't said good morning. We have to do the dance part. We have to. And the rest of the show, I don't care about. As long as we brought awareness Thank to you. Bobby yes. and and we and we dance. Those are the That's two it. most important components, right? So for those of you that know. <laughs> What's that sound? What's that sound? It's coming. It's coming. Yes, it is. For those of you that know. And those of you that don't know. This is the part of the show where we need you to hit that share button. That's right. We need you to hit that share button because we believe if we can change the way people start their day, it'll make a massive impact on this planet. We truly believe that. And sometimes all it takes to change the way somebody starts their day is for you to hit that share button. This is also the part of the show where we say good morning to you, you say good morning to us. Whether you're watching live or you're watching on replay, say what's up. I will go back and say what's up. I always do. My wife doesn't, she's not always happy about it, but I always go back and say what's up. Heather, you wanna say good morning to a few folks? I do. What up, Gail? What up, Joel? What up, Emily? I'm trying to rap here. Eddie Brown. This, I'm so bad. Jeff Baker, what's going on? Rodney, Hatfield, Joel. Get the microphone away from me. I'm busting <laughs> rhymes. I can't even handle it this morning. You're right. Tina Bacon, how are you? Liza Myers, Gorgeous, and Carter Myers Automotive Group, how are you? What's up? Nathaniel Banks, we got Mary Lynn Wilkins in the house. Julio Soto, 
John Coltonborn is up in here this morning. Mike Stevens, Terry LaPierre. I'm getting a funny look for bobbing and weaving. Digging the beat, Terry LaPierre says. That's right. Scott Simons, day 65 of 10K a day. My man. What's up, Michael Guthrie? Melvin Rodriguez, Sandra Benstock, Delodio, Ray Hatcher, Diamond Ray is up in here. John Gayheimer. We got the whole crew up in here on hashtag Rise and Grind. All right, we're going to have to cut the music short. No! I am for real, though. Y'all need to hit that shit button. Don't be Party's crying. over. Get out. Everybody Party's get over. out. That's it. Party's Music's over. over. That's it. Amante, <laughs> Harvey, what's up? Terry Collins, great to see you as well. Yeah, it's time to go. Heather, lots of interviews. Oh, time. my goodness. Pretty Crazy. cool stuff, Right? So fun. So many awesome stories. So much laugh, crying, all the things. Like just too much emotions going on. It was crazy. It was crazy. It was a lot. It was fun. What was one of your favorites? One that sticks out just because of the the seriousness of this topic and how important this knowledge was to me because I had to gain this knowledge at the very beginning is when Sarah Ball came into my life, dropped some knowledge, walked out, deuces out, and just rocked my world because she helped me understand Rising Grind in another way that I did not understand it before because there's a system here. There's some things happening. There is a system. There are some things happening. And Sarah Ball is an integral part of that system, has been for a while now. And as a matter of fact, I had a feeling, I just had a a feeling that you might have liked that interview with Sarah Ball. And so I actually grabbed a clip from that particular interview. You ready? Check it out. Now, you are the taco girl, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. tell, can you tell me about what that is about? Because I, I'm still like probably six months into Rise and Grind and all I see is all these emojis and I don't know what this inside joke is. So what's going on with the taco situation? I honestly can't, I have no idea. I am obsessed with tacos. Like I eat them every Tuesday. It's not a joke. I, I love tacos. And I want to say it was Twang. The emoji queen, I didn't understand the emojis when I came into Rise and Grind. And then she asked one day, like, hey, do you have an emoji? And I'm like, no. And she's like, what do you like? And I was like, bacon and tacos. We have a baconator. And so she's like, okay, you could be the taco. Oh, my God. I felt like I had been adopted. <laughs> this is the best day ever. So, so, now tell me so this person in the group is assigning out emojis to everybody? You don't have an emoji? No, I'm kind of upset. That's why I'm asking. Oh, sweet Jesus. Twang, go to Twang. Twang's the emoji, the emoji gifter. We got to see if we have a coffee. Twang, no, listen. We have a coffee. Hit me up. Hit me up. Y'all know what my emoji's going to be. <laughs> I'm going to be initiated. <laughs> you do. Like, it's almost like, I don't know. I had to, like, choke back tears. I remember getting off the show that day, and I was like, this is it. This is like... Mom, my, my time to shine. I'm gonna I get a taco emoji. You're making me jealous, Sarah. You're making me jealous. Okay. <laughs> did you see how jealous and painful that was for me? I was like, I she deep blamed you and she sent you an emoji <laughs> and you were adopted. I did. You were like totally totally floored like I, I, I experienced that live in person and was like oh my gosh heather's mind has just been it's blown. been my mission it's to get as many history. people initiated into this group as possible so thank you vicky for all of your help and how about Sarah Ooh. saying like i legit am obsessed with tacos like look she right said above my it's head. not a joke it's taco not, look above my head that's her. She came to visit my studio, and everyone that visits my studio, I ask them to kindly sign the wall, and she signed the wall, Taco. So you can say called Taco because she probably calls ta- herself Taco now. Yeah, you can. Sarah think, Taco Ball. Yeah, I think you're one hundred percent legit. Like allowed to just call her Taco, and she. Can I acknowledge she- something though? She started putting vegetables on her Taco which has been as a result of this group trying to level her tacos up a little bit. So she took a picture with some vegetables on it. So Sarah's leveling up. Sarah is leveling up. All right. Today has gone by fast. I was going to show a couple different clips. So fast. It went like super fast, but that's okay. Um, Tomorrow, here's what we're going to do. So tomorrow, we're going to bring Bobby in here. Bobby Nihas. (sighs) From my pink navigator cool all right so she's gonna join us tomorrow and she's gonna share a little bit more 
about what my pink navigator is all about and her mission and her passion and just all of those things right so mm. she'll, be, she'll be here tomorrow tomorrow we're also going to recap some of those other interviews because there were some moments like mm. when you were just to give you an example like at the end, for those of you that haven't watched our show before, at the end of our interviews, we always put people on top of a mountain. Mm -hmm. And we and we ask them, if all of civilization was there, what would you share with all of civilization? And so Heather being newer to this question, not not on the other side, but just asking the question, Heather, like it was really fun watching Heather ask people this question. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. <laughs> If you were to share one message with the world, they're all ears, what would that be? The citizens of the world gather around and they're such a fan of you and they're screaming your name. They're saying, Cam Wilson, it wasn't sign this for me. And they were going to take this in. They were going to listen. And you had just one thing to share with them. Now that's a lot. It is a lot. And so, this big mountain that hovers over the world and all of the world is gathered around it. Definitely the Rise and Grind group. We're in the front row because we got VIP tickets. I'm building this up, aren't I? <laughs> so. <laughs> in my defense, when you come in here and y'all talk about the mountaintop, like there's language you got to learn when you get into the group. Like, I'm going to put you on a mountain and everybody's like, oh. Oh, Glenn's going to put them on a mountain. And you're like, what, is they, what are they talking about? Then all the group starts dropping mountain emojis in the feed on top of that. And so as kind of like a newer person coming in, you're like, what's happening? And so there's a lot of pressure around that question. <laughs> there is. And it's been delightful watching you go through that. I've really enjoyed it. So we're going to recap a couple more interviews tomorrow. We're going to spend okay. some time with Bobby. She'll be in here. Um tomorrow and then we're going to let everybody know kind of what our plan looks like so we've got a fourth quarter plan um to really be able to go out and and just make an impact in the fourth quarter yes. we're gonna we're gonna be doing some things in october obviously breast cancer awareness raising awareness for bobby and my pink navigator in november we've got some uh tricks up our sleeve the new planners are going to be coming out and then there's something else that's going to be coming out that is like super Amazing. cool and you're going to love it. That's the clue for everyone. And just so you know, Heather likes zombies. She likes coffee. She likes. You're coming out with podcast. rising grind zombies. <laughs> they knock on your door and wake you up to make sure you're watching the show. Right. Exactly. Rising grind zombies. They never sleep, which is awesome. Right? They stay up all night, keep you up. So we've got that coming in November. And then in December, we're going to do something that seriously has never been done mm. in the history of the world by anyone. And it's, it kept me up last night trying to figure it out logistically, but it's going to bring our group together in a way it's never, never. And he's not happen. being dramatic. Like this is when you told yeah. me this one thing, I was like, you're joking. It's going to be amazing. My mm -hmm. wife was looking at me like I was crazy last night. I was literally having to, like, I was inventing technology that doesn't exist in my mind to try to make this, not try to make this happen. Innovation. So I might have to, I might have to jump in a time machine and go forward and come back with some stuff to make it work. But Bring me. <laughs> so lots of fun things coming on. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed um, this morning's episode, hashtag rise and grind. I know we were a little um, all over the place, but really, 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 my pink navigator. This is our opportunity. Bobby Nihas, rise and grind member. Let's pour into her. Let's support her. Drop your stars. I will take all of those dollars. They will go directly to her 100% in the month of October. Go buy you a shirt. Post a pic of your shirt. Do all of those things. 100% of the proceeds. It's going to be amazing. We're going to have a fun fourth quarter. I hope you have an amazing day. You are all incredible, amazing superhumans. Heather, you want to tell them anything before we go? If you don't have an emoji assigned to you, her name is Vicky. Everett, and you'll see her in the comments. And I need you to just hit her name and then go to the DMs and get your emoji because you deserve it.
Vicky is going to kill you. <laughs> I love it. Hey, go out there, have an amazing day today. You are all amazing superhumans. Seriously, you're what makes Rise and Grind what it is. Uh, we love you dearly. Uh, you are, in case you didn't know, uh, not just a family member of Rise and Grind now, but you are a child of God, the God of the universe, the God that made everything, has made you to be the absolute best version of yourself that you can possibly be, and you're doing it, man. You're making positive decisions. You're making powerful decisions, and those decisions make an impact on your friends, on your family members, on your coworkers, you showing up here this morning has made an impact on me. And I, for one, absolutely stinking love you for it. And I know this girl does too. Big love. Big Have an love. awesome day. That's right. Get out there. Have an amazing day. We'll see you tomorrow at 5.30 a.m. on hashtag rise and grind. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? See, there's no excuse for you not pushing yourself to the next level. In order for you to create a new you, you must have a new mindset. When teams come together, we can create things that are greater than the sum of all of their parts.